right, this is our walkthrough of the A10 Mini Pro, and this is the quick start, so this will get you going as quickly as possible on this device. So the A10 Mini Pro is a live stream encoder and switcher, and you're gonna use it to produce video to go to programs like Zoom, or you can use it to live stream to places like Facebook Live or YouTube. They've made this as simple as I think you could have this type of a device. So there's not even a power button. You plug your power cord in, and just like that, it's on. In its simplest form, you push each button here, one, two, three, four, and that's the numbers of your input on the back. So whichever device is plugged in, you hit that number, and that's what's gonna go live on your production. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you open your ATEM is go to Blackmagic's website, where you will download the latest version of the software for your ATEM Mini. You'll have the option to register your device, um, and you also have the option to just skip right to the download, which I'm gonna do here right now. Once it's all installed, you'll wanna open up the software. So you'll need a USB-C cable if you don't have one. The USB out marking on the back of the ATEM is where that connects and then connect to your computer. We'll now run the setup software and there's two icons that you can select. So if you don't have to go live right now, this is a great time to update your software. I don't recommend doing an update uh, while you're setting up to go live. Software may change from what you're familiar with or it could take an extended period of time. So you wanna avoid that. And there we get the full software control but we're not gonna dive into this right now. You can run your A10 Mini Pro very simply just from the hardware itself. You've connected your A10 to your computer, and now we're gonna connect a camera to one of the inputs. So in this case, we're gonna use input one, and we're gonna use input two for a second camera. And then you still have input three and four where you can put more cameras or computers. Maybe you wanna run a presentation off a computer. Over to the right, you'll see there's a mic one and a mic two. If you'd like to run audio from a separate mic, you'll see right next to those mic inputs that there's the mic one and mic two controls. Uh, when it's lit up red, it's live. So you can turn mic one input on or off. There's the arrows, which are volume controls just below. To make it even simpler, I like to take the audio from my video signal, usually from video one. You can see down below here, there's the on and off above input one is for the audio for video input one. So I can toggle that on and off and I can control the volume just below with the arrows. The same with video two, if I wanted the audio from that, I just toggle it on or off. And they're independent of the video input as you see here. Even if I change the video, I can still have my mic um, going through video one. On the back of the ATEM, USB out connected us to the computer. HDMI out gives us a video feed out for monitoring. You don't have to, but I find it helpful for producing. Here's what it looks like when you connect that HDMI out to a monitor. This is not the computer I'm using for broadcast. This is just a monitor and it runs straight off the ATEM. Now I'm also gonna connect a computer to video input three with media that we can add to our program. So maybe this is a presentation. Maybe it's just a video you wanna play. Maybe it's a website you wanna show. You can use another computer to share any media you want. This is what the multi-view interface now shows on this screen. You can see what camera one is showing. You can see what camera two is showing. You can see the computer on input three. Of course, whichever one is red is what's live. And you remember we had audio on for input one. So you'll see over here and in this interface lit up. If camera one's audio is on, it's shown here. Or if you have camera two audio on, you can see those levels. You'll notice that there's a preview and a program window at the top, and both of them show the same thing. Cut bus mode is the setting that your ATEM is on straight out of the box. When you hit an input number, that input goes live. That shot is now highlighted by the red light. Now let's look at program preview mode. Under ATEM setup, let's select the first icon on the left, and you'll see that you may have an update available. So I'll do my update later. I'm just gonna hit continue for now. We'll select program preview and save. In program preview mode, you now preview your shots in the preview window before you select them. 
This preview feature is noted by highlighting in green. Remember, red always notes live. Input 3 is live, but I'm previewing input 2. Now I'm previewing input 1. In program preview mode, you use the cut button to initiate your cuts.